Hello, my name is Harrison Banks, and I'm going to be teaching you about the coronavirus Pfizer mRNA vaccine. So, just as a preface, we need to understand the way that viruses work, and in order for them to work, they need to enter your cells. So here we have a virus, and in order for it to enter your cells, it uses a protein, this extension on this outside, and it's called a spike protein or an S protein. And what this does is it attaches to the outside of your cell called a cell membrane, and it uses that to enter into your cell. So we're gonna come back specifically to this later, but exactly what the Pfizer vaccine is, what it delivers into your body, is it has this mRNA, which is a type of RNA, and it encapsulated it into this lipid nanoparticle capsule. And this is basically how it's used to protect it and transport this mRNA into your cells. So what happens is that this nanoparticle, lipid nanoparticle capsule goes onto your cell and inserts a mRNA. And what mRNA does is that when it enters your cell, we have something, all our cells have organelles, and just like we have organs, cells have organelles. And one of these organelles is called a ribosome, and our cells have many ribosomes, as shown here. And what ribosomes do is they translate mRNA from your body, naturally, and turn them into proteins. And it doesn't have any discrepancy in whether it's your cell's mRNA or whether it's a foreign mRNA. So what it does is it takes this foreign mRNA from the vaccine and it translates into a protein. And what this protein is, is the coronavirus spike protein. And what it does is it begins to it begins to display it on the outside of the cell, on its membrane. And so what happens is that once it starts displaying these S proteins, uh, the cell will eventually die. And once the cell dies, an immune, ce uh, immune cell called an antigen-presenting cell, as shown here on the left, can pick up the floating around S proteins, spike proteins, which is what the virus uses from that your cell generated, and it digests these S proteins and it starts presenting it on its own surface. And what this cell does is it then goes over to what's called a helper T cell, another immune cell. And what the helper T cell does is it recognizes this spike protein, this viral spike protein. And it starts telling your body to initiate its immune response to these S proteins. However, you still have S proteins on cells that haven't died yet, or they simply haven't been digested by the antigen-presenting cell. And what these leftover S proteins do is they get recognized by another part of your immune system called a B cell. And what the B cell can do is lock onto this uh, S protein and recognize it. And once your helper T cell has activated your immune response, the B cell will start producing antibodies. What these antibodies do is they grab onto S proteins and mark them for destruction. And what this will do is, since you have all these antibodies in your body, when a virus, actual coronavirus, comes into your body, the antibodies will recognize this S protein because it's the uh, S protein has been recognized by your body already. So the antibodies know that this is something that needs to be marked for destruction. So what the antibodies do is they lock onto these S proteins on the virus. And since the S proteins have been locked onto, the virus can no longer enter a cell. And these antibodies also mark the virus for destruction. However, the coronavirus may have already infected some cells. And the thing is, your body has these cells called killer T cells. And what killer T cells will do is they will find infected cells and destroy them, meaning that both 
vi viruses that have entered your body have been uh, marked for destruction and stopped by the antibodies, the already infected cells are now killed by your body. So now your body has a protection against virus and infection. And this is what they call vaccination against a virus. The coronavirus vaccine requires two shots that are 21 days apart from each other. The first shot is used to enable your body's immune response. And that's when your cell recognizes the S protein and starts creating these antibodies. However, the second shot is what really starts uh, accelerating the production of these antibodies. And that's when you're really protected from the virus.